Hello and welcome to Japanese with Desperado. We're going to go over our rules of language acquisition and then we are going to move uh, on into the lesson. So first things first, something, a study habit or someone tells you a certain study habit or whatnot uh, is the best and you feel like it's not working, it's probably not working and you need to change up the study habit to better suit your needs. So don't push yourself if you don't feel like it's working correctly. And if you're paying attention, you're putting in the effort, you're doing the work and whatnot, and you still feel like you're not getting it, that's probably the teacher that's uh, the problem there. So what I would suggest is that, um, what is it, you talk with your teacher to make sure, to see if the teacher can um, switch it up a little bit and uh, better help your learning needs. And then three, uh, if it's not relevant or interesting, uh, you probably aren't learning much. So if you're just doing boring chalk and talk, that's a good example of something that's probably not uh, not good for um, a lesson. All right, so um, if you want to take notes, you can take notes. You don't have to take notes. I'm not going to make you take notes. So uh, we are going to be working on pages uh, 188 and 189 in the textbook. So if you need access to the textbook, the textbook is in Discord. So let's get going. All right, so we're going to go for our first character here. And this is Tsukuru. And this is also an ooh verb. So this comes into Tsukurimas. Like this here. So another one is uh, Saku. So we learned another character a while back. And this one was Boon. And usually this is used for like sentences or whatnot. So this Saku Boon here. Here, let me erase this real quick so I can drop, put this in here like that. So you have Saku Boon. So these two basically mean research paper. <laughs> or kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, any any. So there's there's another one that's called Known Boon, which that one's like a, a theoretical paper is usually that their sakubun can be anything from a, a like something that's in the humanities. So Ronbun, like the theoretical papers are like specific to like the sciences and whatnot. Sakubun can cover a multitude of different areas. So think of it just like this is a literary piece and Ronbun is a scientific piece. Stalking me, Desperado. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this is actually part of the lesson. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's just like that. The, it it happened to fall this week. Here. <laughs> it's just kind of yeah. All right, so I we're gonna have to think about it anymore. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> hey, guess what we're learning today? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna draw this character here, and this character is actually pretty easy. So. So you start with the first line here like this. Uh, and this one comes down like that too. Then you have another one here. Comes out. Push this down. And one, two. And that is, if I'm not mistaken, the character that we're doing. Yep. So let's try this one more time. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like this new pen, or this new brush, I should say. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. 
All right, so our next character on this page here is going to be, uh, we have she here, or what is it, what is it, it's, it's, it's Tsukau, Tsukau, is like to serve. Yeah, I think it's to serve is what it is. It, like, that's that's where the serve comes in. But um, the one you're going to focus on more because in... Hold on just a second here. With the amount of time that I've been using Japanese, I don't think I've ever seen this actually used in a sentence all that much. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be using the she more often. And the main reason why we're going to be using the this she is because the next character is going to be Koto. And she, Goto, means job or work. So, and I'll, I'll show it when, we, when I show you the next character. But we'll work on drawing this one first. So this one's also really easy. The only thing is, is that this one's different than, um, what is it? Before we learned this one here like this like the do for um for uh what is or i did that backwards so when we learned this one here before we learned like do like this here but this one is backwards as in this is the longer line and this is a shorter line oh. so this line here is going to be longer than this line here. And that's actually very important. So. Oh, hold on just a second here. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five. That one was too long. That is too long That's again. Strange that we have that half form again. We have the what form? I forget what you call it. You know, like the left hand side. I forget what you call the half. Oh, the radical. Yeah, like a name. Yeah, that. <laughs> it's it's like both of them have the same left hand side. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, or I did that wrong. Four, five. All right, so this one is important for when we do the next one on the list here, because the next one on the list is going to be uh koto or goto a uh, g is also used with this but there's so she goto is going to be used uh what is it as um what is it another word and then you have um uh what is it things like kaji kaji meaning how like ka meaning house or like family and then G meaning thing. So it basically means like housework. Mm -hmm. But that's where, that's an example of using G. And um, like that. And then she Goto is an example of using the Koto or Goto for a thing here. Um, there's another thing with this one here. You have Koto and you have Mono. So, koto deals with non-physical things, like actions or ideas. And mono means thing, but it means like actual, like, physical things. So, like, when we talk about no mi mono, or tabe mono, we're talking about food things and drink things. So, those are actual physical objects. But... If you're talking about koto, koto is used for like um, when uh, saying like swimming, biking, 
running, fishing, like that. It's, a, it's an action or an idea. So it's not an actual physical thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so goto is for job, right? Uh, so she goto means job. So the two of them together. So basically it's a serve thing, which is a work. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. Right. So it's like a service. Mm. This so makes you sound like a waiter. <laughs> yeah. So uh, give me just a second here. I need to grab, uh, what is it? Uh, something here real quick. And make sure that I have the stroke order down. I'm pretty sure I know it well, but. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. I just noticed the county. <laughs> I wasn't looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> I just that bad. It's no, it's not. I just want to make sure I got the stra the stroke order down correctly, so I'm not showing I mean, you guys the wrong way to draw it. I mean, I guess for a kanji for thing, it definitely looks like a thing. Definitely. Like some sort of monstrous thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should see some of the other ones. Some of the other ones are just like, are you, are you sure we we have to draw that? <laughs> like the next one after this is going to be really fun. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I can remember them that though. All right, so let's do this one here. So we're going to start with the first line on top. This is going to be the second longest line in the character. So you have this first line here. All right. So next we have to draw the box here. One, two, three, four, like that. Then roughly the same size as the box, we're going to draw this here oh crap I messed it up you're supposed to draw this here then you draw the longest line and then you draw this line <laughs> like that and then you draw one long line all the way through with a flick <laughs> So let's try this one more time. So you have one, two, three, four, or three, four. Then you have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is that koto for shigoto. So the one that we had before which was this one here. I did that backwards. And then you have this. So that's Shigoto. All right, so now we're going to do the last one. So this one looked difficult, right? Right, Ellie? Mm. All right, so next what we're going to do is this one. It looks like an <laughs> elephant. <laughs> it does look a little like an elephant. <laughs> so this one isn't too bad because you've done some of these radicals before. So sure. it's 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 just putting them all together into one big thing. So first we're going to start with the first line across the top. Like that. Then what we're going to do is you're going to put a line down and then you're going to put another line over that flicks 
there at the very end. Then what we're going to do is do one, two. Oh, I did that backwards, my bad. So you put this line down first and you put the line down to about right here and then you do one, two, three, four. And can you guess what these, uh, these little marks represent here? The little like wire thingies on a telephone pole? <laughs> right. So the, these ones here actually, they represent water. Oh. Oh wait, is this like the, the steam train thing again? Yep, so this is den for densha, so electricity. So electricity comes from a rain cloud, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I usually don't think about it that way. Right, so next we're going to draw that um, that uh, field like we, we, that we've done before. Except for this time, we are going to bring this out here and up. So it becomes one fluid motion and up like that. So instead of That's completing the box, tight. you're basically giving it a tail and a flick upward. Hmm. So if, if you remember when we did the number nine, came down and then flicked up. So we're basically doing this here. So this line and this line are very similar. So let's try this one more time. So we have one line across, one line down, another line across with a flick. You bring this down, then you do one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And this is for electricity. But another, uh, what is it, um, thing that we've done before? So we've done, what is it, car? I think is another one that we've done. Or no, that's the next one, sorry. Uh, one that we've done is key, because we did that with tanky before. So if we draw the character that we just learned here, you have ding. Then you have Denki. Mm. For basically like Denki is used for like electricity, but it's also used for the lights like in a room. So this means electric energy. <laughs> All right. So let's keep moving on. And... All right. That should be the end of our... Uh, what is the drawing aspect here? I'm going to do a little bit of review so we can go over short forms again. Do you guys remember uh, when we did short forms last time? Uh, a little. Sorry, I had a little bit of a mic issue. I don't think I can hear you well either. Um, Lavitz, I could, I could hear you there. Can you hear me now? Lavitz? There we go. We should be there. Sorry, what were you saying? I was like, do you remember short form when we did short? Uh, slightly, yes. Okay. So one of the main things that that changes with short form is where we've learned Mimas, like we did before for Yomimas. 
in short form, we just use the, the base form, which is just yo mu. So that's just in the present tense. The only thing that changes here is that when we go into the negative, instead of me, we use ma here, and it's ma nai. So we have like, yeah. so as an example, we have yomu here. Being the being the base form, when we want to change it into long form, it this becomes me. But if we're going to try and make it a negative short form, not long form, but negative short form, it becomes ma. And instead of instead, of, it's not yo masen, it becomes yo ma nai. Yomi Masen is uh, what is it? The full long form. Do you remember this, Lavitz? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Yoma Nai. Yeah. I'm just double checking. Yeah. I, I I remember the concept and everything like that. I just don't remember the specific rules for specific what they're called. Right. Uber. I don't remember exactly what the rules are. Right. So w w as we as we get into the next part, like because we're going to do just a slight review of what we did the last time where we did like changing into the, that mm and mm <laughs> mm -hmm. from before, uh, uh, we're going to be using short form a bit more. So this is this is why it's important to, to know these. So reviewing this is going to help us move into the next grammar point with this. So that's why I'm going over it again. Um, e adjectives, you just uh, change the last E to ku and then add nai. And then for the, because we had like kawaii here and becomes kawaii des is the long form, but the short form is just kawaii. So to make it a negative, it becomes kawa. Kawaku, kawaii, kawaiku, nai. Kawaiku nai, right? Yep. Kawaiku. Right. And the long form is kawaiku nai des. So. And we've learned janai for a very long time. So na adjectives are just janai and nouns are also janai. Instead of like we had before, we had ja adimasen. But janai des also works as a long form. Or kunai des also works as a long form. So, all right, let's move on to our next part here. So do you remember all of these here? Like if it's a ru verb, like how it's different. And then so ru verb, basically like most other rules that we've learned with ru verbs, you just drop the ru and add nai. So tabe du becomes tabe nai. So as an example, miru is also a ru verb. So, miru becomes minai. Minai. Very good. Fantastic. And then for the other u verbs, like we had with yomu here, yomu becomes yo ma nai. So, kaku becomes kakanai. Uh, kakanai. It's kakanai. Yep. And then hanasu becomes? Uh, hasanai. Hana? Oh, hanasanai. Very yeah. good. Matsu hana. becomes? Uh, what was it? Natsu? Matsu. Matsu. Uh, matsu. Uh, matanai. Very good. And then shinu? Shinanai. Shinanai. Very good. So... And then, like, for here, it's skudu, which this skudu is an u-verb. So? 
uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Tsuku? Tsuku or Tsukuranai. Very good. Oyogu becomes? Yoganai. Oyoga? Oyoganai. Yeah. Very good. So, and then you have Oyo. What is it? Yobu. And then the last one here was the exception rule. So if it ends in U, it becomes. Wa. That's right. So Kau be doesn't become. What is it? Kaanai. It becomes Kawanai. Okay. All right. So, and now. We'll go look at the irregulars. So you have, sh what is it? Sudu becomes Shinai. But Kudu becomes? Konai. Konai. Very good. This one, this one's a little bit difficult to remember because it's it's not anything that we're, we, we're, we've, uh, like the Su to Shi makes sense. But the ku to ko does not make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's one of the irregulars. And then adu just becomes nai. All right, so let's work on just a few of these here. We don't have to do all of them. We can just do a few until you guys feel comfortable. Uh. All right, so let's try number five here. Lavitz, why don't you give number five a go? Uh, that would be Haku into uh, Hakanai. Yeah. Very good. Fantastic. And um, Ellie, try number four. Yomban des. Uh, kakeru. Uh, mm, kakenai. Very good. Fantastic. Lavitz, do number 13. Uh, Ju Sambandis. Yeah. Omo. Oh, that's the one that was messing with me which last would week. Be... Omo. Oh, yeah, Omo would be Omanai. No, because it nope. an, ends in U. Ooh. That means it U has turns to. turns into Wa, so om, Omo Wanai. Very good. Omo Wanai. I was like, what's the rule here? Do I drop it or do I change it to something else? Very good. Ellie, do number 16 for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, wait. Kaenai? It is oh, not a root. It's not oh, a root verb. Um, Kaeranai? Very good. Fantastic. Lavitz, you get number eight. Uh... What's that? Sentaku or Sentaku Sudu. Which would be Sentaku Shinai? No. You're close. Sentaku Sanai. She? No. Oh, is it Shinai? Shinai. Okay, I thought so. that's what I did the first time. Well, I didn't pronounce the E. Yeah, it, you, you, I, I it, sure. it almost sounds like you said Shanai. So, Sentaku Shinai. Very good. Fantastic. And, Ellie, why don't you give me number 10? Kuru. Uh, ko, uh, konai. Very good. Fantastic. Uh, good I job. Gotten, that one would have tripped me off. Dang, I forgot <laughs> all about it. <laughs> we just did it. So I was like, wait, I, here, I, I know. I would have tripped me off anyways. All right, Lavitz. Number 12. Uh, Adu, which would be nice. Fantastic. Good job. All right. So now we're going to do questions and answers, and I'll help you with these here. Don't worry about that. So question, do you remember what Hima means? No. No. Nope. So basically it means free time. So uh. <clears throat> someone's asking you, are you free? So <laughs> Hima. Hima <laughs> Jendai. So, <laughs> so, so if I were to say Hima. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, 
what is this? Mm. Mm. Oh, right. Uh. <laughs> mm. 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 Uh, yeah. So it Those aren't even mm. words. They shouldn't even be considered <laughs> yeah. words. I I'm mad, that, 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 I'm mad that that's written down. <laughs> like, if yeah, that has like a easy. definition in a dictionary, I'm like, no. <laughs> that's exactly well, the definition, like, like, though. Hmm. Hmm. It's like the dictionary of the moody teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that would be, uh, wait, yeah, uh, yeah, no, mm, hima janai. Very good, fantastic. All right, so Lavitz. Yes. Uh, Isogashi. Wait, uh, oh, okay. Uh, Isogashi, what is that? Again? Isogashi. Uh, that sounds really familiar, but I... Can't place it. Oh, are you busy? Very good. Uh, I I cheated. Um Isogashi. Uh hi or mm. Isogashi. Mm, Isogashi. Very good. So let's say that you're not busy, what would you say? Uh mm. Isoga So try it one more time. Mm. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it? Uh, Iso ga. Well, oh, excuse me. She becomes. Sa. So e case, no. no. So e becomes no, e. The, e becomes. Ah. No. I guess. Iso, no. What's the rule on this one? I forget. Okay. We'll go back just Iso a second here. She... Hold on. Let me go back real quick here. One more. Isogashi. Yeah. Oh, kunai. Kunai. Isogashi kunai. Isogashi kunai. Mm. Isogashi kunai. Very good. The answer then. So, uh. Mm. Isogashi kunai. Okay, let's try and make that a little bit more smoother. Yeah, I had definitely had the stutter there. Isogashi well, kunai. So you're saying isogashi kunai. Isogashi okay. kunai. Isogashi oh, kunai. Uh, mm, isogashi kunai. Very good. <laughs> All right. Number three here. Kono kyokasho wa i. Hmm. Kyokasho um. means textbook. Oh. So, kono kyokasho can wa I, e. Can I borrow your textbook? No. Is this textbook? Is this textbook yours? So, Wait, e. No. Oh, is this a textbook? No. Suriwa Kore wa kyokasho desu ka? Is your textbook at home? So E E is what? Home? It's good. No. Uh, or good. Oh, right. Oh. What was I thinking of? E I have no idea. I think you're thinking e of EA, e probably. So, kono kyokusho wa e. Is the textbook good? Yes. Um. <clears throat> so. Mm. Kono. What was it? So just. Mm. Kono yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do the whole thing. Oh, I don't? Okay. No, it's short form, that's why. So, it's literally just. Mm. E. Very good. Mm, e. <laughs> That's weird. So now, let's do the negative. Uh, and this one's a special one when it's negative. 
It's irregular. Oh god. It's not going to war, is it? So, another way to say e in Japanese is yoi. And if you uh, use yeah, this yeah, and if you use this e here for an e adjective, it turns into uh, so this one here was who it would be the same thing I just did, right? Yep. No. Okay, so uh, kunai, yeah. So Yo. you would go mm, and then skip the kono, right? Yep. And then just do the textbook and yep. yokunai. Very good. Okay. So, mm, kyokusho, uh, yokunai. Kyokusho wa? Oh, right, ah. the wa then. <laughs> I totally didn't see that. Kyoka, hang on. Mm, kyokusho wa, uh, oh, brain fart. Kyokusho wa, uh, yokunai. Very good. Fantastic. The mm and mm aren't getting to you this much this week. <laughs> no, no, that's okay now. I think last week I was just having one of those moments, you know, pronunciation oh. <laughs> with just being the pain. All right. So we've learned this uh, kanji kanji here. Oh, well, sensei. Yep. Sensei wa? Wa. Kawaii. Uh. Kawaii. Oh, what's kawaii? Uh, well, kawaii means kawaii means uh -huh. cute. cute. Yeah. Kawaii, ugly. not ugly. Um. Gary. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm, kawaii. <laughs> kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> was that a neg? Uh, that was a, a positive. Reading. That was yeah, a positive. Yes. yes. <laughs> so. Yes, the teacher's scary. Why? Because he introduces hard mode on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's try and do uh, the um, the negative on this mm, one here. Uh, ko or oh yeah, so mm, ko kunai. Kowa. Ko kowa. kowa. Oh, kawakunai. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. kawakunai. Very good. Fantastic. Let's try number five here. Is that ri Ryu? So, that's ryo. 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 Well, that's weird to say. Ryo -ri. Yeah, this, this sound does not exist in, in English. Ryo. -ri. Ryo. -ri. Ryo. -ri. So, so, yori. Yori. Mm, close. You're very Yori. close. Yo. Yori. Yori. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, but with an O sound, right? Yep. Yori. It's Yori. it's basically it's basically yo with an R sound at the very beginning that is not well Yori. pronounced. That's yeah, that's it right like, there. Uh, yeah, Yori. Ellie. Ellie, you had it correct. Yori. Yori ga, what is it? Uh, That's jo. Jozu. Jo. Josu? Jozu. 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 So, this is... Jozu means are you good at it, or well... Or, yep. Yeah. Yep. That is cr That you're, you're good at. So, Yori wa, is Yori ga, Jozu. So, Yori is cooking. Oh, so are you good at cooking? So, Dori wa Jozu. Um. Wait. Is it the Jozu I want? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm, Jozu. Mm, Jozu. Very good. Now, let's do the negative. Um. The. Uh, 
So what would the zoo Is turn that into? Josaw and I. So let's take a look here. We went over this. I think I went over this maybe a little too quickly, but let's go back here. So this is a na adjective. I almost wish you would just put this in the reference material so we can go back to it easily. Yeah, I probably should. I'll, I'll try and do that for the next time. So, we, it's always a constant, like, here's this thing, a reference sheet. We're going to go past it. And then I'm like, wait, where's my reference sheet? Okay, yeah. So here's Shizuka. Mm. So Shizuka man, means quiet. So what do you add at the very end? Oh, uh, Janai. Very good. So it's also the same for nouns. Nouns are also Janai. Hmm. So, so um, Jozu Janai. Very good. So say the whole thing one more time. Mm. Jozu Janai. Very good. All right, Lavitz, let's do number six here. Ofuso? Ofudo? Ofudo. Ofudo. Ofudo ga. Suki. Ski. Uh, ki, like. which is, do you like something? Uh, yep. Ofudo, which is what? It means bath. Uh, oh. Mm, ski. Ski. Okay, and let's say you don't like a bath, that you like a shower instead. Uh, but I like both. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say suki would turn in skanai. Uh, no, or no. Suki is a na adjective. Shanai. Uh, well, what no. was what was Jozu at the very top? Uh, ski Janai. Ski Janai. Okay, so it'd just be Ski Janai. All right. Very good. Mm, ski Janai. Very good. So, as an example, if someone asked you if you like Ofuro in Japanese. This could mean like a bathtub at somebody's house sort of thing, like a bear claw bathtub sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Like this. Or they could be talking about public bath. I have a claw foot tub. <laughs> you have a what? I have a tub like that. <laughs> a bear claw tub? percent sure I would not be able to fit into a bear claw or a bear claw <laughs> tub in Japan. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, is like you'll, you'll have uh, like a bathhouse in Japan is a huge, huge pool. That one I'd be fine with. Like quite literally, like I'm talking like you could get like well, 10 people, people mm -hmm. yeah. inside like here. Yeah. With like, pool, with like with like two kids like splashing here like that. <laughs> I was confused by the bath in my hotel room when I was in Japan. It was like ridiculously tall. I could barely like step over into it. Like the bathtub? Yeah, yeah, like the wall of the tub was really high. So Japan is all about like like being able to be completely submersed in the in the in the water itself. Yeah. So, like, there's no washing. Like, the bath is only for soaking. You never actually bring soap into the bathtub, bathtub at all. So. But. Yeah, no. What is it? Like, public public bath here. There's, there's what they have, like, public bath houses. And then there's, uh, what is it, onsen, which are hot springs. And those are also usually public in the sense that they like separate them between men and women. But there's another one that's called uh, what is it, konyoku, which is men and women together <laughs> in the same in the same bath. <clears throat> so let's do number seven here. Is that a? That's katakana. Upatsu? Close. Close. Uh, oh, Supotsu. Ga yeah. <laughs> uh, Kirai. Do you hate sports? 
Oh, sport. I didn't even think about sport. I don't know why. I was All right. Something else. So, ski is a na adjective. Kirai is also a na adjective. Um. Mm, kirai. Wait. Yeah, kirai janai. Very good. Fantastic. And Lavitz, can you read number eight? What is that? Batsyo. It's gay. Oh, it's gay. Get get to Yobi. So, um, Kyo wa get to Yobi. Very good. So, yeah, Uh, Kyo wa get to Yobi. Tomorrow is Sunday? Not tomorrow. Yesterday is Sunday. That's uh, that's Kino. Today is Sunday. <laughs> Very good. Today and Sunday. This this is the symbol for sun. This oh. is the symbol for moon. Very good. Uh uh wait, get to your D. I'm uh, afraid. Uh, I would assume that's Saturday. I don't know. Well, what? <laughs> so, we have Sunday, and then we have Moon Monday. Day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So, Kyo wa Getsuyobi. Mm. Uh, Getsuyobi Janai. Very good. Fantastic. All right. Let's try number nine here. Uh, Nihon go no. Uh, wait. It's it, you're overthinking. It's class in Japanese. Kurasu. <laughs> hmm. Uh, wait. Nihongo no kurasu. Uh, wow. oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> I was thinking this wasn't wa. Um, wa moto? O? O. Oto. O, o mo. And then the next line. Oh, well, I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> o mo shiru, uh, hi, yeah. Shiro. Shiroi. Omoshiroi. Omoshiroi. I ah, oh, that's so familiar. I don't remember what omoshiroi means. Uh, enjoy. Omoshiroi. <laughs> Does that mean enjoy? No, it means uh, yeah. it means interesting. Ah. Uh. Got it. Uh, omoshiroi in. Japanese has two meanings, though. People use emoshiroi for interesting, meaning like something is actually like piques your interest, like reading Mm -hmm. a topic, like maybe it'd be like politics or or like healthcare or something like that. Something interesting in that aspect. But they also use emoshiroi for something that's actually funny, like comedy. It's That's used. It's though. it's normally used when you're like enjoying something, right? Right. Or like you're into something. Right, but it, it it's also used like if so, if someone if someone does like slapstick comedy and you see someone like fall on their butt or you, uh, uh, you watch like um, a comedy show and someone does does like something funny on the show like you see a man put on like a woman's dress or whatnot and walk around and someone laughs and points and goes ha 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 that's funny it's like it's like the ducks from monster hunter i would have been like oh right right so and like something like that right 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 so yeah so it can and mean it intellectually can... in, or intellectually enjoying, I guess. It could be inter- intellectually stimulating, or it can be something that's also funny. Yeah, as Which in I like haha funny. Intellectually, 
enjoying or something. I don't know. Right. It's like enjoying something with your brain. <laughs> In any aspect is how I always think of it. Yep. So it's 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 a little strange because uh, if someone makes a joke and you laugh really hard at the joke, you point at them and say, you don't say, you don't point at them and say, that's interesting. You normally say, that's funny. So this in Japanese, they would say, that's interesting. And sometimes people that that learn English in Japan immediately respond with, that's interesting instead of that's funny. So. We didn't answer the question. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't. <laughs> okay, so let's answer the question here. So, so do you find Japanese class interesting? Very good. Um. <coughs> so wait. Is it just the emotional bit then? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're just doing yes. Yeah. Mm, emotional. <laughs> mm, emotional. Okay. Yeah. Lavitz. What, you want me to give the same answer or a different answer? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Why don't you just speak your mind? <laughs> no, I'm just mm, kidding. <laughs> we just had like a three-minute conversation on the, the, the word emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I find it interesting. Mm, uh, I'm, I'm kidding around. <laughs> so let's try and use the negative now. Just, that would just be um, mm, emotional junai. This is an E adjective. Uh, uh, Omoshiro kunai. Yeah. Oh, wait, konai. It's ku, right? Ku? Omoshiro yeah. kunai. Yeah. Uh, mm, omoshiro kunai. Okay. And Lavitz, why don't you do number 10 then? Um, so we're at Nihongo no class. Uh, ma, is that zoo? Mosu. Oh, no, it's Musukashi. Musukashi. Muzu? Muzukashi. Muzukashi. That sounds familiar, oh. but. Well, there's that song. I think that's part of one of the Naruto openings. Uh, I don't know what Muzukashi means, actually. I've forgotten. Mm hmm. It means difficult. Ah. Um. Sure. Uh, mm. uh, Muzukashi. Very good. Ellie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Wait, did you do positive or negative? I did positive. Okay. Mm. Muzukashi kunai. Very good. All right, we've got about five more minutes here. So now we're going to move on to a different grammar point. And we, this is the reason why I went over the verbs and the adjectives so much is because we're going to be using those forms that we just went over here, the short forms, and then we're going to use them with to omoimas and to Iteimas. So this is think. And this is omou. So omoimas. And this is iteimas. So this is think and say. And what this is, is that I think about somebody or somebody said something. So let's take a look here at the first sentence here. And we'll definitely go over this the next time for the next class. Again. So we have Susan wa ashita shiken ga aru to itteimashita. So you have the uh what is it the translation there? So we have shiken ga aru. So that shiken ga aru. 
to itemashita. So Sue said that there would be an exam. That there would be an exam tomorrow. Okay. So this one I think is to omoimas. So we have likes, ski da, to omoimas. So we need to use the da. So when we learn the na with na adjectives, so we had suki na like this was the base form. This then becomes da for short form. So ski da to omoimas. So in Japanese, saying watashi wa, you can say watashi wa at the beginning, or you can omit it, omit it in a sentence like this. Because if you're if you are speaking to one other person, it's understood that you're talking about yourself using this form, tomoimas. Because you don't think for other people. You only think for yourself. So, Takashi wa, uh, ta Takeshi san wa, Mary ga suki da to omoimas. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a lot. <laughs> right, and I understand that. Like I said, we're not going to, we're not going to, uh, I'm going to make sure that you guys get this. So, I'm just introducing it right now. Sure. We'll, we'll probably start the next class with this very thing. Right. So, let me take and go back here real quick. And we'll just take a look at the next page here. So, what we're going to try and do, and I have an example right here, is we're trying to use to omoimas, so I think. So often cooks. So often is is yoku. No wait, that's something. That's yoku. And then cooks, which is dori. Sudu. And oh. sudu is the, what is it, the um, short form. The doing things. Right. So, meri san wa yoku to omoimasu. Very good. To omoimasu. Uh, it's oma. To omoimas. Okay, so now let's try and make it negative. So, uh. so we'd start with meri san wa. San wa. Yoku. ジョーリーソルジョーリーあジョーリーシーシーライトいやシーシーとおしいいやシーとのあのシーはあおやっとメイクネガティブリメンバーでネガティブフォーベリーベリーグッドシーナイシーナイオッケー Would it just end there, or would we keep yep. going? Yep. Shinai to. Oh, to. Uh, omoi suru. Omoi mas. Omoi mas. Ah, okay. So let's try it one more time. Ah, uh, meri san wa uh, yoku uh, shyo sh sh or yeah. Meri san wa yoku ryori. 
Sudo or she, she and I, eh. mm-hmm. <laughs> um, sorry, I had a itch on my back. Um, so Mary san wa yoku jori tonight to omoi mas. Very good, fantastic. All right. So this is the reason why I was saying short form is important because in order to make these sentences and make even the polite form with these sentences, you have to know the short form here in between that to omoimas section. So we're going to end the lesson here for today, but we're going to come back and we're going to work on this here. So we can try and uh, make sure that we get the to omoimas and to iteimas. Or t- iteimashita. But we will talk to you all later. Thank you for coming out. And we will see you later. Goodbye.